Hi, this is Shonda Pierce. And one of the things that speaks greatly to me in the Bible is the word everything. Don't you want everything? Don't you wish you had it all? I do. Now, the greatest thing about that is my favorite verse. John 6, 63 says, and the spirit accounts for everything. The flesh accounts for nothing. In other words, you hold on to the Word of God. You let the Spirit of God bleed into your very being. And you know what response, what your body does to with that? Everything, every day is better, brighter, stronger. I think there was a time in my life when my kids were little, we didn't have a really great minivan. I had to teach a Sunday school class and I was trying to start a young career as a stand-up comedian. I kind of wanted it all. I wanted everything. And in juggling everything, I was absolutely wearing myself out. When I came across the verse that says, the flesh accounts for nothing, it made me keep my perspective on God. It made me put my priorities in place. And so when that happened, it seemed like the juggle got a little easier. I want to encourage you to take some time with the Lord today. I know it's hard and we are bombarded by every moment and hour, especially if you have little ones. You've chased them around the house and finally they take a nap. And so it's your time to either get a bath or to get a load of laundry done. There's a lot of things that we do that can wait. And so I ask you to take a few minutes to wait on the Lord. And not just say, okay, I'm gonna put my mind on him, but actually stop everything that you're doing, even if it's 10 minutes. There are reasons why cultures stop and, and have naps. There are reasons why cultures are very big on, on uh, yoga or getting out, you know, and the, you see the, the Asian folks and all the, all the dedication that they do to just calm their minds. That's not a bad idea. Now I say all that to say, don't get so obsessed over getting that time that even worrying about getting time with the Lord starts working our, its way against us. But just know, with my mind stayed on Christ, I can find time in my day that my body can stop and be still. There is that one moment in time where you can open a page, open the book, and those words never change. They never change with your feelings. They never change with your chaos. They never change with trauma. So whenever I would have stopped relying on my feeling and engage my faith, I go straight to a page where the words are written and, and they never change. Give your mind time to rest and be still and be quiet. And I promise you, he shows up every time. So, the Spirit of God, it accounts for everything. The flesh accounts for nothing.